Well, harm reduction advocates say that being aware and trained is the difference between life and death. So they hope people will use this guide to learn the signs of an overdose and help save lives. People using party drugs could unintentionally be exposed to fentanyl. The synthetic opioid has been found in heroin, cocaine, pressed pills, and methamphetamines. So this Pride Month, the Entertainment Commission, San Francisco's Department of Public Health, and drag queen Cochina Rood all partnered up to make a training video. They're teaching people how to use fentanyl test strips, as well as recognize and reverse an overdose using Narcan nasal spray. You want to remove the Narcan from its packaging, Insert the nozzle into the nostril and press the plunger firmly. The Department of Public Health reports fentanyl was involved in nearly three quarters of deaths last year, and a small amount could be fatal. Stephen Torres is on the Entertainment Commission and executive co-chair of the LGBTQ Cultural District. He has worked in nightlife for two decades and says he has seen the deadly toll fentanyl has taken on the community. I, I personally have... Uh have known a lot of folks that, that are no longer with us because they, you know, they didn't, um, they they didn't know what they were taking. These are these are needless tragedies. The informational campaign was spearheaded by Laura Thomas with the Entertainment Commission. She hopes to one day mimic a campaign that we've seen in New York called Narcan Behind Every Bar, so that these resources will be made readily available across town. Ideally, I would like to see every bar and nightclub and entertainment venue in San Francisco um, be stocked with naloxone and fentanyl test strips uh, so that um, people can be as safe as possible while um, enjoying their nightlife. 